Good afternoon. Welcome to more trivia in the afternoon with our special sponsored show today by Fudge. And not just Fudge, other pieces of confectionery. I have so much here. I have so much. Lots of lots of fun things. Um, and I am I'm gonna eat some live on stream live on stream i'm gonna eat as well you can't get better than that eating on stream um i'm wearing the exercise shirt again this is an exercise it's just a shirt i don't um my clothes don't have um anything but yeah and we also have special prizes congratulations to crawl daddy on the birth of his new child let's go indeed crawl Daddy has had a new child love fudge great and if you're in the uk Today you can win a hamper of fudge, a massive hamper of fudge. It's very, very good. Um, and if you get a third question right, you get um, money off fudge as well. And other things, not just fudge, but fudge, fudge. Don't eat all the fudge. I need to try to not eat it. Um, luckily, this isn't the fudge I'm gonna be, we're going to be sending you if you win. It's not going to be eat because I'm not going to be manhandling it and eating it. Um, if we win the prize, can they send it to Taiwan? I don't think they can send it to Taiwan, um, as it is food things, unfortunately, in Taiwan, John. But you can still win a split of our pot today, which is also going on as well. A beer chaser, maybe, this afternoon. Um, get it sent to London family. You can. You can buy it and get it shipped into the UK from people. Uh, where is Joe? Joe is uh, not here today. Well, he is working today, but um, Joe is not in possession of all this fudge, but he will be tomorrow. Uh, where's Crawdaddy? He's looking after his newborn child, I believe. Hello, Monty. Ooh, I like fudge, that's epic. Fudge is good. And these are some crazy, crazy fudge packets. The one I think I'm gonna try today is the caramel and sea salt fudge baton, which does look very, very nice, I think. This is what I'm gonna eat. Hope to win today, it's true. The packages also have like really cool stories on, which you can read, which is kind of fun. It's like quite a fun, quite a fun brand, I'd say. A hamper, and get a ham. We actually is allergic to fugs, and we're like his fudge redirected to Zeusless. It may be possible to do that. It may be possible. Fudge or the UK winners. Wow, so much fudge chat. So much fudge chat. Um, I like the packaging very much. The packaging is very cool. Look at this, right? So this is like one of them, which is like fool's gold. And you open it up and it has like a little story on the inside as well. The artwork and stuff is really cool. Uh, it is very nice. And we're gonna taste it as well, which is the most important bit, the taste, the taste. Um, everyone's messaging me for free fudge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> just mute my messages. Uh, what are the characters today's questions? Good questions. Uh, I can guarantee that one question is a fudge question and that is all i can promise today all the other questions general topic randomness um i got my coffee today that's good finally to the yeah so right when we had coffee i went to want too much but um people thought yeah when i was smelling the bag but the bag has holes in the back so you can smell the coffee that was what it was um so i wasn't just smelling paper it didn't make sense is mr stanley watching he probably is, he probably is. He's probably thinking of a, a more chocolate bar to make after us, probably. Or maybe, maybe not, but maybe, maybe he is. Um, send some to Texas. Pfft. I don't know if it would last to Texas as well. I make my own fudge, that's good. But you've got to try Mr. Sanchez. Harrogate is very near Leeds, it is. And um, I believe they're moving uh, up to back to Harrogate as well after being at a while in London, which is also very exciting. But we will give um, a few more minutes for people to join and then we'll kick off with our Monday afternoon questions. Um, Harrogate once hosted the Eurovision Song Contest. I did not know that, um, but now I do, which is good. That should be a trivia question. Right. Uh, <laughs> better than we should be supporting Bid Fudge. We, we support fudge, we support fudge, right. Um, easy, welcome to more trivia. My name is Tim, and this is our daily trivia show every day, today at 3 p.m. Uh, and it is very easy. There's five questions. The quicker you answer, the more points you get. 
and our top players today will be winning special prize. So in first place, you will receive a Mr. Stanley's hamper, if you're based in the UK, full of maybe things like this and this and this and this and even more things I've got, which we'll slowly reveal over the week. I don't want to blow the whole load right away. Um, and you'll also get, if you get over 30,000 points, you'll get a split of our pot of 25 pounds. So get over 30K, you get a split of 25 pounds. And coming in the top three, you will get a miss. Well, the first to get missing sample, the um, second place, uh, sorry, second and third place will get two, will get a 10 pound voucher each for Mr. Stanley's, which is pretty good. And everyone who gets the third question right will get a discount code of 15% off any fudgy buy. So basically play this quiz, run through it, go buy loads of fudge, that is it. And at the fifth question, third question, I will be, I will be eating some fudge. So let's move on with our first question. I've never eaten on stream before. This would be like a world first, a world first of me eating on stream. Um, right, question number one though, let's kick off with something not fudge related, um, but a very good game. It is darts, darts. And as you can see on the dartboard above me, the dart is in a very specific place. It's in the red center of the board. So my question to you is how many points is this worth in a game of darts? How many points is it worth getting the center of the board? Is it 50, 100 or 1,000? Hopefully an easy one to start with, if you know darts. Um, deceptively, not the quickest thing, the highest value on the board, is it? It's the one above that. Um, but I can reveal the correct answer is, in fact, 50. 50 is the middle points you get on the board. How many people getting that right? Do we have many darts heads? 143 darts people getting that right. Well done. 100 for, sorry, 65 for 100 and 44 for 1,000. Unlucky if you didn't get that, but don't worry. There's more questions to go, there's more to go. Right, question number two. Thanks GTA. Did Grand Theft Auto do darts? I guess they would have, wouldn't they? They're Scottish, aren't they? It makes sense. First 10K, respect. Right, <laughs> question number two. We're talking about a Moog. What is a Moog? I don't know, but do you know what type of musical instrument a Moog is? Is it a drum, a guitar, or a synthesizer. We don't play darts. You've got to play darts. It's the best game ever. Um, blind guessing here. Uh, I can reveal that a Moog is, in fact, and I'm pronouncing it horrifically, by the way. It's actually like a Moog, like Vogue, you pronounce it. Um, but it is, it's a synthesizer. Oh, I can't even, a synthesizer, which 125 people got right. Well done, 57 for guitar and 65 for drum. Most people are getting that right. Right, and our next question is our brand new fudge question. So if you get this question right, not only do you get points of the pot, you will get 15% off any transaction from Mr. Stanley's, any fudge, right. And after the question, I will eat this. I'll eat this and we'll see how it goes. Right, question number three. Along with vanilla, butter and milk, what is the main ingredient of basic fudge? Is it plain flour, chocolate or sugar? It is one of them, it is one of them. Um, of course it's one of them. It's an option. Um, slightly obvious, now you might be, you might be thinking that this isn't simple. This is simple. In fact, we fact check this on the Mr. Stanley's website and it is in fact sugar. Sugar is in fudge, which 95 you got right. 81 went for chocolate, uh, 14 for 25. No, it's um, sugar is the main ingredient of fudge. You don't have to have chocolate in fudge, actually. You can have chocolate coated fudge, but that is different. Right, unlucky guys. Right, and on that note, before we look at leaderboards, I'm gonna eat some fudge now. Um, we made fudge and work and it reeks. I'm loving all the fudges in chat. So you look at the packaging, this is kind of cool. The caramel sea salt fudge baton. And um, where is it? Oh yeah, and look, right? When you open it, feed the imagination. 
Mr. Stanley's. Isn't this fun? I like this. Um, they also, behind each chocolate, chocolate is a story, uh, which I think is on here as well. This one's about an antelope. I'll read the story just for you. Um, Never want to pass an opportunity for a quick sprint around the green. Mr. Stanley remarked to his sprightly companion, the African gazelle. Do you recall, my friend, you gave that cheetah a real run for his money in the relay race. The only thing guaranteed to stop you in your tracks was a baton of my glorious caramel and sea salt fudge. Wow. So, if you're an antelope running from a, a leopard, you can stop him with a big bar of fudge. That is good. The antelope would rather die and eat this than survive a leopard killing. That's how good this is. That's what the story's saying. That's what the story's saying. So, this is also a very girthy big ball of out of fudge. So, and as you can see, it's unopened. This is literally me really eating this. Um, a cheetah. Right. Okay. I need a knife. It is big, isn't it? Okay. How much do I bite? I'm gonna bite a reason. It smells good. It smells good. That is good. You can see the fudge in it. Mmm. That is... I like fudge. And that is good fudge. See how much I can fit. You know, the other thing about fudge, right, is like, sometimes it's like too sweet, but actually this isn't even really sickly. It's like good. It's like just right. Cause normally, yeah, sometimes it'd be too much. Like I could have another bite of this pretty comfortably, even though I did just take a, a pretty big bite. Hmm, that is good. Right, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try and not eat this for the shoe. But yeah, that's good. It is actually good. Right. I'm not saying it's because they pay me. They're not there. We are. Uh, I'm saying it because I like fudge. And I'll eat all of this. Eat all of this. You can't stop me. Um, right. Let's look at the leaderboards though. I've um, I've delayed our quiz too much by eating fudge. I'm breaking my one, which is not to eat on stream. Um, let's look at the leaderboards. How are we doing? Three questions in. One fudge half consumed. Um, I shouldn't talk with fudge mouth. Zeusless, the king, first place, followed by John M, Dab31, Urban Sabro, Quiz Monster, Cliver Legend, We Like Shape, Chio Steel, A Andy H, and Kermit in 10th place. Everyone getting pretty near to 30k already. Looks like we're going to have a lot of winners of the prize. Zeusless wants his bag of fudge. He wants his fudge hamper. He wants it now. And he has two more questions to get it right. Um, okay, let's go. Question number four. We're talking about space. Space, here it is. Space, the final frontier, where we're gonna know it's the place where Elon's gonna escape to after he ruins Twitter, probably. I don't know, I don't know. I'm not throwing shade on Elon. But my question is, what does not happen in space? Is it you get taller, you float, or you gain weight? Now, you got to think about this one, because one of these doesn't really happen in space. Now, here's what happens. In space, there's less gravity. So you float about a bit. And because of that, your muscles and your body relaxes. True, if you, if you bring space, if you bring fudge to space, there might be more weight. Um, but you, in fact, most time, most astronauts lose weight when they go to space rather than gain weight. So the correct answer is, you gain weight, you do not gain weight. 64 of you got right. Uh, 49 of you get taller. Uh, 49 of you saying you get taller, which you do. And floating seven, but you don't float. You do float in space, you do, you do. Right, well done. I wrote in a test yesterday. They're good chips, they are good chips. Right, one more question. Last question to go. I hope one more bite of my fudge bar, because it actually is pretty good. Um, I shouldn't do this. Right. And well done to everyone who got it right. You get your fudge code. We send that out. Question number five is about this. It is. Mm, 
smiling. Smiling is key. Smiling is the... Smiling because you got good fudge. Always perfect. But my last question is, which of these Marvel directors was awarded the best smile in high school? Was it James Gunn, Ryan Coogler, or Anthony Russo? One of these guys have a good smile. And if they had fudge, they'd probably smile even more. Well, I actually looked at all of them up to see what their smiles were like so I could decide. Anthony Russo, this kind of a serious man, maybe not so much smile. James Gunn, also pretty serious, Tita Pan. But Ryan Coogler, he is the best smile. It was 39 of you got oh, right. 56 for James Gunn, 27 for Anthony Russo. That was a hard question. Um, well, let's look at his smile. Um, look at that smile. That's a nice smile. That's a good smile. That's a good smile. I would, I would give that smile 10 out of 10 smiling. Um, well done to everyone getting that right. And let's look. You think you fudged up the game today. That's a good thing. We should take the word fudge and make it a positive. Um, let's look at the leaderboards. Has Zeusless got his... Um, has Zeusless got his fudge? Let's see. The leaderboards are coming in. Oof! Clive of Legend in first place, followed by Play247, John M, Wardy Wanderer, Dino, Fox Force 4, Urban Chris Monster, Urban Sombrero, Miss Dav, Chi of Steel, Andy H, Lauren, Charlotte Leeds, and a lot. How many winners are there? Teaming up 35 winners of the prize. And top three players will be getting. I decided to say the last week because Dad's baby in the That's fair, that's fair. Um, last top three people will be getting uh, some special prizes for fudge which would be great um and if you got the third question right we will be emailing you a special fudge voucher where you can get 15 percent of every single <laughs> i don't know if i should be saying that oh, i think it's of everything it's a it's a it's a um a 50 percent off um a purchase on the website uh, which is good so we can go buy fudge and if you want a more chance to win fudge we are back tomorrow at the same time uh where we'll have our second sponsored fudge day show um, which won't be hosted by me, but I can confirm that more fudge will be eaten on that show and more stories from fudge packets will be told. Um, yes, there'll be every day from Monday to Friday this week is fudge week for us, all fudge. I won the voucher, it's gonna be a good day. That's good, that's what we like to hear. Um, thank you so much for playing. Uh, it's been super fun to host this one. Um, I now have um, a massive fudge bar next to me, um, which I'm gonna eat. Uh, every day is fudge day for me too. That's valid, that's valid. Uh, no voucher, no money, I'm sad. Don't worry, there's more to win, there's more to have. Playing from the dentist chair and I'm getting lectured about fudge. Oof, oof. Thank you all for playing. I'm gonna finish my massive, I don't know if this is really for one person. Does it say how many people should be eating this bar of fudge? It is good though. It's not like too sweet either, which like normally puts me off chocolate. But this is like pretty good. Where is it? Where is it? Doesn't say how many people it's for. It's for me. It's for me. All for me. Mm -hmm. Right. Goodbye.